Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Wednesday, and we are going to get to crafting. Um, we're going to have some fun today, guys. I'm super, super excited for this. I think it's going to be super, super cute, I think. Um, it's a little unconventional. <laughs> no, not in this <laughs> It's something place. I came up with in my head. And sometimes those end up being the best craft. So it's gonna be on the farmhousey side. So if you like a farmhouse craft, stick around. You might like this, if it turns out, okay? In my head, it's gonna turn out perfectly. In reality, we're gonna make it turn out one way or the other. I'm gonna show you what to do, what not to do, all the things. You know, we've been down that road before, okay? Um, we're figuring it out as we go. So um, we are crafting. Tim is sending out the text message right now. So if you want a text message when we go live, um, Nobody got it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. If you are not already signed up for a texting list, uh, text yes. hello to 810-374-0342, and we will send you a text message when we go live, okay? All you got to do, hello. Grab a screenshot. Grab your screenshot because I'm going to put it away. I'm going to put it away. Grab a screenshot. Hello, Denise. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Chica. Hello, hello. And the text is on its way. It's, oh, oh, it's out. It's gone. Uh, yeah, I saw it's it. gone. I saw it's gone. It. Hello, Miss Noel. Hello, Desiree. We are good today. We are good. Today's been a productive day. Super productive. Today, um, we finalized um, the decision of what's being released this Friday. And I'm so excited. So excited. Some cute stuff coming to the shop, y'all. Um, what the hell sandwich? Thank you, Melissa. Yes, we got yeah. to have some fun this weekend yeah. with family. I'm going to tell you guys about that today. We didn't talk much about it when we were live on Monday, but we're going to talk about it today. We're going to tell you all about it. Alita, thank you for sprinkling to your friends. Hello, Miss Sandra. All right, we're going to use one of these dowel rods. Dowel rods, also called wood craft dowels from Dollar Tree. You're backwards. Am I backwards? Oh, it's all here. I am backwards. Ha! Hold on, y'all. I'm going to fix it. On Facebook, I'm backwards. I can fix oh, yeah, that, though. Oh, yeah, backwards. I can fix that. I thought I did it, but hold on, y'all. Yeah, hold that's on. it, Maria. Happy oh, home uh -oh. day. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. It wait. looks different now. Let me click on that, see if that does it. Nope. Uh-oh. It looks different. Hmm. Yeah, and you're still backwards. I know. I know. Usually I click that button. Facebook has changed everything. Usually it's right up there. Y'all, y'all. Told you I'm a hot mess. You all know it. You all know it. Hold on, give me a second here. No, it's right. It's a little magic wand button there. Yeah. Click the little magic wand button. That's what I clicked. Now tell me where it is. Oh. Ah. There's something over there behind all that stuff. Let me click that. Oh, oh, nope. Uh-uh. That's not what I want. No. Nope. That's not what I want. Y'all, we might be just doing it backwards today. Effects. Oops. 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 <laughs> y'all, I don't know what's going on here. That's all just the like fun effects. We don't need any crazy like no. butterflies flying around our head or anything like no. that. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We're backwards today. Apparently, at this point in time, I'm sure it'll be different in two days. Um, Facebook isn't allowing me to switch it while I'm already live. So we're just going to go with it. Yes, they change it. Maria, yes, they are changing everything everywhere in the world of Facebook right now. They are. I know. Thank you, Helen. Um, the stars. Oh, there is a star party echo Star party. Star party. Star party. Woo! Star party. Ooh, star party. Michelle star said party. she received her star virtual party. box today. Woo! Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Patty is watching from work with the low volume. Shh, shh, don't get in trouble, Patty. Don't get in trouble. Hopefully Patty's boss isn't watching. She's going to come and see what Patty's doing. Yeah. <laughs> then you all can watch together. We're going to use this little, I don't even know what this is called. It was in my oh, stash of craft stuff. We're just kind of using this as like a stabilizer um, to kind of keep to kind of help keep everything where it needs to be, okay? We also have this little pot. Thank you, Kim, for the stars. This is a three inch pot, two and a half inch pot. I know we measured this last time. Let's see, three. Three, three and, three and a half inches across the inside. Three and a half inch pot. But you could use any size you want. I'm also using this. <laughs> Judy says, you you aren't the hot mess. <laughs> FB is. Uh, Facebook so many... is. 
Yes. I've heard so many people say FB yes. is faced up. Faced up. This is actually like a little snow globe from Dollar Tree. But I'm using it today. If I had my choice, I, I would have used stars. a foam ball. Like a foam ball you get from the craft store. I would have used that, but Janet, I don't have one. That's the where I used to. And I I've feel already... like I pro they're probably in the storage room somewhere and I just couldn't find them. But somebody's going to ask, so I'm going to tell you. This is about four inches across four four and a half inches so anywhere around that size if you have a foam ball you can just stick it on the end it would be a lot easier but I don't have one so I'm using what I got I'm using what I got okay so let's do this <laughs> oh and I have a bunch of burlap a big old chunk of burlap here probably a little less than a yard of burlap here thank you Joyce okay? for the stars so we're gonna start oh and I have some aquanet some Aquanet. Oh, we're going back to the 80s. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have some fun with the Aquanet today. So there's two ways I can do this. Okay. So my first way, I'm going to use this to stabilize and help keep my stick from falling all over the place inside here like this. Okay. We're going to create like a little, a little stand for our ghost. Okay. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to talk about how we're going to do the top, okay? We need it rounded for the top, for the head of our ghost. We're making a burlap Thank ghost you, Kim, stars. farmhouse burlap ghost. So what we're going to do first, we're going to glue. I'm going to use a little E6000 too, just because I don't know, just to well, be thank safe. Thank you, Aletha. Because it can't hurt. Where is my E6000? Where is it? Where's that to y'all? Oh, I think it's over here. Hold on, y'all. We got to get all in one spot. Yes, it was in my box over here because I took it with me to the shop when I was crafting something at the shop last week. Eventually, we will be crafting over at the new space. Eventually, we will. So what, we're going to add... What does your shirt say? My shirt says Christie's Craft Room. I know it's backwards on Facebook, but it says Christie's Craft Room. This is our logo. Um... Was that Jacob's house yesterday? That was Jacob's house. Or does house. he have roommates? He has roommates. He does have roommates. It's actually, um, they are renting it for their off season. See, they work, um, him and his, his team, they work all summer long, like spring to summer, spring to fall. That's their season. They work in sales and they travel around different places and they, um, I'm going to use I got E6000 on that. there. Now I'm going to add some hot glue. So they... <laughs> Giselle says Tim moved to the other side, so it's not weird. <laughs> yeah, Tim moved to the other side. So it's not, I know everyone's all weirded out now, aren't they? All right, we're going to stick this in here. Make sure our holes line up, okay? So I'm going to kind of stick my dowel rod in there. Whoop, get her in there. Get her in there. Tim, stop. Y'all. Y'all. You got to make sure your holes line up because that dowel rod has to go in, okay? <laughs> Stop it. He's laughing and making me laugh, y'all. We're trying to craft here. We're just crafting. We're crafting. Now we're going to fill the hole with hot glue, okay? <laughs> he can't. Can you all hear him? I hope you can hear him over there. I hope you can hear him. He is dying over there. He is dying. He cannot handle himself. I need another <laughs> stick. Ah! Y'all, my glue's gonna dry down. Oh, y'all. Oh, I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. It's a girl. Okay. Whew. All right. We're gonna stick some glue in from both ends. Okay? We wanna make sure there's a good amount in there. Yes, ma'am. Our doll rod in there. Tim, the twelve-year-old. No, I'm not that old. Right. Make sure it's straight. And <laughs> Todd says, "Oh, here we go." Here we go. A little more glue in there. Can't have too much glue. Can't have too much glue. All right, we're gonna let that set for a second. Let that set for a second. Get hard. Says, uh, uh, "Poor Christy, you have a funny husband." <gasps> oh my goodness, y'all! He just can't help himself. It just... There goes all my glue sticks. Sorry. I'll pick them up later. I'll pick them up later. All right, so we're gonna let that set. See, I got a good old glop of glue in there because um, I don't want that going anywhere. The, the, the movie, we didn't rent that. It was- uh, um, It was given to us. It was a gift. 
And it was... Is that Miss Gina? I think some Yes, Miss Gina. Gina. And it was uh, yes. um, National Treasure and National Treasure 2. Yes, those were Happy Mail on Monday we opened. Um, so Jacob is... I was starting to say he works... I'm going to put a good old glop of glue at the top here, too. Just make sure it don't go nowhere. Susan says, never a dull moment with you, Jane. Never a dull moment. I'm telling never you. He keeps things entertained moment. around here. So they work all summer long, and then they don't work in the winter. <laughs> so they, like, they come back to Michigan, and they um, rent a house. Or, like, last year they had, um, like, house? a townhouse. This year they upgraded to a whole house. And... They, um, there's like four or five of them that go in on it and they just hang out all winter. And I mean, they do training through the winter they have different trips that they go on through the business and, and other things that they do in the winter, but they don't actively do their sales role in the winter. So they have a lot of fun in the winter. They really do. They, um, the, this company is, an, I, I'm actually really impressed with this company. I will say, I will say yeah, they, they're taking they, really good care of our boy. They really are. Jake's had a yeah. rough year with, um, surgeries and things, and he had a lot of downtime during the season and, um, they're taking good care of him. They're making sure he's, they're taking good care of him. They know he's a good employee. They know he does good with what he does. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I can't say a lot, but that's what I can say. All right, so one thing I'm going to do, because I want to stabilize, this is going to go on top, okay? So I could, A, use another one of those little... Yes, guys, we, we are backwards today. We are backwards, yes. I know, it won't let me flip it. I forgot to oh, flip it before shoot. we started, and it won't let me flip it now. We um, have to dance. So we can use, it kind of looks like a little thread. Oh, I almost died on your... You could probably here. use a thread, a thread one, too, just a regular thread, not a bobbin. Spool. 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 Is it dancing time? It's dancing time. It's dancing time. It's dancing time. We got to dance. We need music. So you can use do. another one of these and do the same thing I did with the pot, like glue it up inside there, glue it. I'm going to do okay, something Okay, get ready, guys. Different. I'm going to grab some names here in a minute. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, I'm going to drill a hole. This is a quarter of an inch, so I'm gonna drill a quarter of an inch of a hole in this top part, and that's gonna help stabilize it. And then we're just gonna glue it in. We're gonna glue her in. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, there's definitely different ways that you could do this craft. Use, I'm using definitely. what I have available here at home. You could use something else for the base. If you wanted to, you could use, um, a foam ball for the top, like I suggested. You could use a flower pot and put some of, uh, like, that, what is that concrete stuff? The plaster, the plaster stuff in there to weigh it down and stick your dowel rod in there and let that set. Mm -hmm. You could do it that way. Thank you, Carrie, for the stars. There's lots of things you can do. So, the nice thing about this is Ooh, it already Billy, has a little Billy mark. doesn't have COVID. She's just got the flu. Yay, good, Billy. That's good to hear. It already has, like, a little dimple there, so we're going to drill right through the dimple. We need to get you a new um, block. I know, I don't know where my block is. I feel like I saw my block somewhere and then I didn't put it back in here. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. I got my block, y'all. I got my block. I always keep a block, this block handy for when I'm drilling and stapling and hammering and things like that because I don't want to drill through my table, okay? So I'm just gonna go right through yes, the center. Don't drill, don't drill through the table. Man, I don't know about you, but my allergies are like killing Plastic my eyes today. Super easy. Allergies have been terrible around here. Man, my perfect. eyes are just torn quarter up. inch drill bit is perfect for these Dollar Tree quarter right. inch dowel rods. We have Peggy Mampolsky, Carrie Renee Hightower, okay. Hightower, Janet Wool Rogers, Jennifer Loper Kraus, Jerry Hubbard Pinnell, Loretta Tatum Melody. Patricia Straw Strawhand, Shirley Dowden Chisholm. A generous amount of glue in there. Cindy Mills. I want to make sure. Ron Bayhill, Kimberly Buck, and Pam Lure. Liar Lure. I want to make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay. So I put a generous amount of glue in there. I'm just lining it up on the center. 
and then letting my glue set. Is that centered? Looks good to me. Well, it's close. It's close enough. It's close enough. It's close enough. Ouch! Lisa said she ran her drill all the way through her thumb recently. Don't do I have, that. I, I have done that multiple times. I, I know that pain. Horrible, 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 horrible. I gotta hold this until it sets. Because if I don't, it'll come out. Yes, so don't do that. Here. And and I've actually, you know, they got the little, like, Phillips. You know, the Phillips head. Um, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and do this. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy in there just for some extra support. Because why not? Because why not? Because I Did just don't it? trust just the hot glue. Okay. There we go. I'm yeah. just going to stick it in there. What was that voice, Extra Christy? stability. What voice? What did oh. I do? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh. I don't know. I don't Ooh, know. Ooh, Jenny has her stars back. Yay, Jenny. Yay. We you know, it's, it's been a while since you've been able to. You've been, um, were you in Facebook time out for some Ooh. reason? I don't know why they take your stars away. That's I know, like, right? I think it's just Facebook glitches is more than anything. All right, we're going to squirt some glue down inside. Kinda gotta aim it and shoot because it doesn't reach. You're not gonna see any see, of this. It's not. So who cares if your glue is a little globby? Hot glue is cheap. Okay, use a little hot glue. Thank you, Missy, for the stars. Okay. And then we're gonna bring this down. See, it's not so easy to aim from that far away now, is it? I did just fine, didn't I? Oh, you got it all over the side. All over the what? All over the what? Just oh. saying. Okay. All right. Thank you, Karen, for the stars. So now we have, I know y'all are like, what is this lady making? Why has she lost her ever living, loving mind? Uh, yes, she has. I have. She I has. I have, but that's besides the point. I mean, she that's has. neither here nor there or anywhere. Yes, <laughs> Elena Elena started school today. Today was Elena's first day, yes. And she's yes. Well, already no, happy. technically yesterday was her first day. Well, today was her first, yesterday was all pretty much Orientation, orientations. But it was still like first day. And then um, today was, she actually had uh, uh, classes. So Jennifer, the stars, it's, it's like a tip jar. It's like a tip jar for us. Um, and what we do with them is it helps cover the cost of the gifting that we do. I'm going to tell you guys how tall this is because somebody will want to know. This is about 14 inches tall, okay? And someone's going to ask how much burlap I have. This is about doo, 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 28 inches long, okay? But it, remember, it's like folded in half. So it's like, you know how burlap comes off the bolt, folded in half? It's about 28 inches long is what I have. Yep, Elena did start, she, uh, did start high school. So we're gonna so, figure out. What is, that's like double thick. I know, I'm gonna cut it. Oh. But I'm just figuring out. So 28 inches. So Thank you, Trisha. That's for the stars. a good length for this length um, or height. Yes, uh, Jennifer, you have to uh, buy the stars from uh, um, from Facebook. From Facebook. Yes. So I'm going to. And yes, I did see the googly eye shoes. I'm gonna cut. Those were amazing. My edge off because they have this sewn here. Actually, I'm not because I'm gonna end up cutting a circle, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna end up cutting a circle. So I'm gonna cut. I told you I needed a lot of space for this one. I told him, I said, I'm going to need a lot of space for this one. I'm going to, I'm going to. You need a lot of space for everything. So I want to go about 28 inches. So we're going to do like a square. Okay. I know, right, Jenny? So about, about there. About there. About. So I'm going to cut this. Boop, ba -doo, about there. Just going to eyeball it. Eyeball it. Watch your fingers. I watch my fingers. I won't cut my finger off. I promise. I promise. At least I'll try not to. I won't do it on purpose, okay? So, um, you guys, let's talk about this weekend, what we did. Okay, I told you guys the other day that we'd talk about our weekend today. Um, we went to C.J. Barrymore's this weekend with the kids. Which is a lot of fun. So much fun. So Which, much fun. Which, if you live in San Diego, it would be go like golf land. Okay, so we have a square. I am going 30 years to, ago. I am going to fold it in half. 
<laughs> Kenneth is. says, I use my whole kitchen table and then some when I'm prepping. I know. You need all the space. All the space. You Here. need the room. So I folded it in half and then folded it in half again. And I'm going to cut, like, kind of round it out. I will have to come back. I'm not going to be able to do a perfect circle, y'all, because I ain't that perfect, okay? Actually, I'll, I'll go one more, okay? Oh, good luck cutting that. What? That'll mm. be easier because it's less distance. I got to... I'm just going to kind of nice round it. It's going to be a little wavy. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. If I have to do half of it and then come back, I'll do half of it and come back. Okay. Um, I'm going to get some more names here in a minute. So if this is 14 inches, we're going to want to cut here to 14 inches. Right? 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 Am I thinking that's right? I hope I am. Right. Um, Jennifer, if you'd like to know when we're going live, if you text uh, text hello to 810-374-0342, we will send you a, a text when we go live. Yes. Yes. So this is 14 inches here, so I'm going to cut the longer end to 14 inches too, okay? So I'm going to come to here, but I want to kind of round it as we go so we can kind of have a big circle. So I started with a 28 inch piece of Can you use burlap. Your fiskars cutters. She could uh, if she had. Here. These are fiskars. No, you're you're like really thick big cutter ones. Um, they're not here. Yeah, they're not I, here. Yeah. I'm agreeing. She with could you. if she had them here. They're not here. All right, well, guys. I'm quite impressed with that circle, if I do say so myself. Well, you did what? say so yourself. I say so. I say so. It doesn't usually work out that way. You know, you try doing a circle and it ends up all wonky and crazy. Um, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I don't get it. I I'm cut impressed. it three times and it's still too short. And we got to dance. Did we dance? We danced. Did we dance? Oh, we, we did. Danced. I forgot. I forgot. I'm having so much fun crafting. And I danced. forgot I even danced. All right, y'all. Y'all. And it's going to be a little see-through-ish. That's okay. That's oh, okay. my gosh. Two it weeks is a ghost. from now will be Frank and Ruth. Is that two weeks? Is that really two weeks? Yeah, that's like... Do we really only have two weeks? Ah! No, I'm excited. That's awesome. There's a lot to do in two weeks, though. That's so exciting. Is it really two weeks from today? Well, for us. Well, we leave Thursday, so tomorrow. It'll be two weeks. Yeah. Yes. So we're getting our, you guys seeing it coming together a little bit? Okay, trust me, trust me, trust me. It's going to come together more. But we got to do something else first. I'm going to set our little guy aside. Oh, no. We're going to bring out our antique wax, and we're going to distress him up a little bit. Make him look a little old and vintage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use a big old honkin'. Look at how big. This thing is probably, I don't know. I don't okay. know what the official, oh, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter stencil brush. Okay, inch and, inch and a quarter. I'm going to grab a paper plate so okay. I can work with it. All right, I'm, I'm getting some names here. All right, we have for a bucket. Janice Van Blarkham, Shirley Dowden Shism. Robin says, please, Sue please, please Howard, the name. Robin Ritter. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Corby Slocum, Aletha Crowder, Jennifer Watts, and Robin, oh, no, Robin Collier Gibson. Forgot to jump over to... Oh, gotta get some YouTubers. Yeah. Get some of our YouTubers Levada, in Lavender here. Lavender Vance, Crystal Foster, Kimberly Buck, Sherry Wee, Don Marie Bayhell, and Kimberly Buck. Can y'all see? see? We're just gonna dirty it up, especially around the bottom. Edges. Dirty it up. I thought that was my job. Gotta get a little dirty up in here. Get a little dirty. A little dirty crafting. Yes, ma'am. You get a thick spot, just work it. Just work it in. Just work it. Just work it, girl. Work it. Work it. Um, so we went to CJ Barry Moore's, guys, and we had so much fun. We went on go-kart race after go-kart race. Oh. Um, yes. I got a blister on my ankle from it. And got a blister. The poor man got a blister. Yeah, it hurts. So much go-kart. It hurts. <laughs> it still hurts. It still hurts. It still hurts. And um, we went on a zip line ride. That was cool. I wasn't sure I would like it. Because I know when I went to, well, we were on the cruise. And we did the ropes course. And there was like this, you could make a choice of going across this really rickety thing. Or you could do like the zip line that loops around. I'm like, zip line. Because then I can just loop around, right? 
what I failed to notice or pay close attention to was when you stepped off the plank, you were hanging over the edge of like, here's the cruise ship, here's the ocean. You had to like step off this way and you like swung out over the ocean and then back onto the ship. Um, and I, I was not, I, I was much more scared of that than I thought I was going to be. I was a little bit scaredy pants. I love roller coasters, but I didn't love that. So, um, I think the key is you're sitting, you're strapped in, you're in a seat. You're like, you feel more secure with zip lines. You're like in this contraption and you're literally hanging and there's nothing between you and the ground other than these straps. So I think that's the difference. So I was a little worried about this because I didn't love the last zip line experience we did. So I was nervous, a little nervous, <clears throat> but you guys, it was really, really fun because they have like seats that you sit in and they like take you backwards up this zip line track. And I mean, the, the, the entire ride, the entire ride was only like one minute. Yeah. From the time they release you and you start going backwards to the time that you get to the top and then you come forward. Um, and it was like, whoa, this isn't so bad. This is not oh, so bad. Jennifer Watts, what does it mean when they say your name? Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'm going to say it. You're, I'm going to forget where I was. So you got to remind me. Okay. I'm going to be like, I'm going to forget to You're tell the story. Line. You're on a zip line going backwards. Okay. So when we call your names... Um, well, when, for every hundred or so the eyeballs go up, we grab a couple of screenshots, whatever names are in there, we read out loud. Those go into a, a bucket for our drawing or crafty mail twice a month, beginning in middle-ish. Um, we'll pull a name out of that bucket, post it on our main page here, and we will send you some happy mail. Crafty mail. Crafty mail. Crafty mail. It's always crafty. mail you can craft with. Crafty mail. And it makes yeah. you happy. So it's happy crafty mail. Happy crafty mail. Yes. Yeah. Best yeah. of both worlds. Yeah. So that's what it is. Now we're going backwards up on yes. a zip line thing. But they put you in the seat and they like, they literally like, they double seatbelt you. They double, they have two seatbelts that go around and, and clip in individually. Um, a lot of their rides do that where they like yes. double strap they you. Double strap. They double strap you yeah. in. Um, and. You go backwards, and you actually go faster backwards up the zip line yeah. than you do coming, coming down, down the zip line. I think it's like, it's like motorized, and I think it's not a free fall. It's definitely no. not a free fall. They control how fast you come down, and um, and they like break it at the bottom, and so you suddenly go to a stop. But the scariest part was like going up wasn't so bad. I was like, oh, okay, okay, this is kind of cool. This is not so fun. And Tim's like, whoa, this is really cool. Well, as you got up towards the top. And then when we got to the top, it was a whole different oh, story. Man. They, they oh. kind of trick you a little bit and tease you. A little bit. You. Yeah. But yeah. you're up so high and you can see so much around you. That was, the view was just absolutely amazing. It was amazing. really, really neat. But when you get to the top, you're like strapped side by side next to each other. And then it like stops. And, and then, then it like. And, and then you like tips <laughs> It like forward. lurches forward. So you're kind of like leaning out and you feel like you're like whoa like there's no shoulder straps it's all like waist straps but they crank your heart they like ur, ur, yeah, and all your your little rolls hang over the top of the seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pretty sight for a lot of us i'll tell you i'll tell you like they were like and i'm Darlene. like broop, broop, it's all I, coming out <laughs> darlene says i'd love it but i might pee a little <laughs> i tell you i you know i was awesome. i was a little worried about that but um but no, it was, that was the scary part. And then they let you go and it was like, oh, this isn't so bad. It was fun. And then you get to the bottom and you come to like a screeching halt. And that was a little like, that was, you know, cause you feel like you're flying forward. Um, so that yeah, was, but it was scary. cool. It was but a it, lot of fun. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. All right. My brush is almost completely dry. So I'm just kind of trying to like work my way up a little bit so it kind of gradually gets dirtier at the bottom and cleaner towards the top. You know, like the little kids are out in their little ghost costume and by the end of trick or treating, they're, <laughs> they're a little dirty from all their playing, but the top is still nice and clean. All right, I think, I think, I think that's good. All right, so there's what it looks like, okay? So it looks a little aged, a little dirty, a little well-loved. Welcome, Sherry. Sherry's a, a, a newbie. Sherry, welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. If you do, make sure you hit that follow button. Um, if you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, hit the, the, the subscribe and the little bell button. 
And um, subscribe on, on FB, the little bell on, all right, let's see. on YouTube. Let's see, let's see, all right. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. So let's, we gotta kind of find the center and kind of get it where we want it to be. Ooh, Karen, uh, uh, my grandson and I are planning a skydiving adventure <gasps> together. Y'all are crazy, y'all are crazy. I, we need to. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> um, my no. girlfriend just went skydiving. Her husband sprung it on her last minute and was like, he asked her, he's like, um, are you adventuring? Do you still got adventure in you? And she's like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I still got adventure in me. And then like two days later, he's like, remember the other day when I asked you if you still had adventure left in you and you said you did? Um, what do you think about skydiving? He said, because I'm gonna go skydiving on Saturday and I'd really like you to go with me. And she was like, wait, what? She's like, we, what? Have, we have seven children and a grandchild. I can't do that. And he's like, but you said you still had adventure left in you. <laughs> she had to eat her words, y'all. She went. She went. Um, Stop it. And she posted the video, and it was just incredible. Incredible. She's a hoot, and she's so fun. And it was fun to watch her. It was neat. Oh, yeah. She so, was geeked up about it. And then Chrissy, my niece, went skydiving. And her daughter, Taylor, the other oh, last week. Yeah, that's what Jenny just said. Crazy that. girls. I can't even, even believe it. And Apparently, I guess they have a video they're going to be posting, too. Apparently, so. Pretty said she won't do it again. She won't do it again. I believe it. Yeah. I feel like that would be a one and done, never again. Oh, I would love to. So, guys, I'm kind of just kind of stretching and molding. I'm not trying not to put too much, like, taunt on their head. Um, cause I don't want to break it, but I'm kind of trying to, burlap will kind of mold to an Welcome, extent. Welcome, Karen. So I'm it's just- Karen's first time watching also. Trying to do it without getting too many creases. So just kind of working it a little here, a little there. Yeah, work it, girl. Work it, girl. Work it. I'm working it. I'm working it. I'm working it. Okay. Are you making pig pen? <laughs> pig oh, pen the penis. ghost. Little oh, dirty penis. Casper. Okay. Y'all wondered what the hairspray was for, okay? You can use starch. I don't have starch. I'm working with what I got. I'm craft with what you got you around. Starch. Well, I'm using this because I got okay. it here. Okay. You can use starch. Um, hairspray is basically starch for your hair, but it works for your crafts too. So what's going to happen is I'm going to spray it, and it's going to get wet, so that's going to help mold it to where I want it to be. But then it's also going to make it stiff, okay? I'm going to get it on my hand. I can wash my hands. My hands are washable. I will take off my watch, though, so that doesn't get covered too terribly in hairspray, okay? But, but we're working it. We're working it, okay? <laughs> they said uh, uh, spooktacular. It's going to be cute. Gonna you be could. Someone's going to say, why don't you just tie a piece of twine? You can, but that's not the look I want. I want it to, like, look like it's just draping, okay? Like it's just draping. Just draping. Julie says, uh, as a kid, my dad built a zip line for us at our cabin. I don't know how long it was, but we had so much fun on that thing. The, the neighbors at the old house behind us, yes. they, they built a, a zip line. It was only like 50 feet. Into the pool. Into their pool. But there so was... fun. Our kids went over and uh, they invited... The guy didn't even have kids. Like he... It was it a was, single guy that lived there. Right. And well, yeah. He uh, had some family coming in to town for the weekend. So he like, he went and bought uh, because they have kids and family. I mean, what a good uncle or cousin or whatever he was. Um, yes, we're using the hairspray. Yes, you can smell the Aquanet. Okay. okay. There's no kids here to help me. Elaine is here, but she's, uh, she's, she's, sleeping. she's sleeping. She's got a little bit of a cold going on. She got, Trevor got the, um, the college cold, you know, all the cold that all the college kids get. And he decided to bring that home to us. So, um, Elena kind of picked that up a little bit. So, she's... I just got my she's, allergies. She's sleeping, sleeping through that right now. So, she had to get through school today, and now she's sleeping through it. So, all right, you see it taking shape, guys? You see it taking shape? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And we're going to give it some eyeballs so you know it's a ghost and not just like a, a weird drape of fabric over a wall. <laughs> But how fun, how fun is it coming along? It's coming along. Ooh, I kind of like that side a little bit. The way it's... So you're always going to find the side that you like the most. Just like you... a Christmas tree. Yep, just like a Christmas tree. You find the side of the Christmas tree that you like the most. I'm going to give it a little bit more. Moisten it up a little bit. Ooh, a little moisture. Never hurts anything. Marcia says not jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I think that would be so I'm going to kind of hold it in a little bit, and we're going to kind of hit it with our heat gun to kind of dry that hairspray, kind of help give it 
the stiffness. Look at how cute that is, guys! Ah, I love it. I love it. Keep on going. Keep on. I love it already. I love it. Okay, get ready guys. I'm gonna grab some more names. Don't here in a overdo minute. if you use this plastic ball or even a foam ball, don't overdo the heat gun up here because you don't want to melt your foam and you don't want to melt your hot glue that you use to hold everything together. We're just kind of getting some air on there to dry it all up. Are you gonna fasten the burlap to the globe? I am going to. I want to get it shaped first, then I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back side and underneath to just kind of keep it no, from shifting. Virginia. Too much. She doesn't like the googly eyes, but I think they would be perfect. Googly eyes would be cute. I got like burlap. You're burning. There's smoke. It's not smoke. It's the hairspray steaming. It's not smoke. I promise. It's just the hairspray is wet and it's steaming a little bit. That's it. It's not. I promise. I'm not burning it. But it's nice and stiff, so it's going to hold its shape, okay? Now, I would suggest you probably want to... Whether you use burlap or starch or whatever you use. It was a, uh, the, the head was a snow globe from Dollar Tree from the bucket yes. and quarter store. Yes. I'm going to, because I want to keep the shape in the front here, so I'm going to give it a little more hairspray just to stiffen her up a little bit. Okay. Shape we have. Head. Shape his face a little bit. Denise Twarkowski, Deb DeLauder, Kimberly Kelly, Sherry Hill. Jenny Roberts Day, Aletha Crowder, Cindy Berg, Janet Idziak. Thank you for sharing, Miss Hilda. Crystal Foster, Sherry Wee, Sherry Henson, Maria Cirillo Wieland, and Crystal Foster. That autocorrect will get you every time. I'm telling you, it gets you every time. Just jumped on. What's under? Oh, what's under the burlap? Um, you just answered that. You never tell what's underneath the Scotsman's kilt. My, what do you have underneath that little uh, burlap sheet you got going on? So, because I didn't glue it yet, I can give you a little peekaboo. See how it's holding its shape? Will tresemme work? So that is a terracotta pot. I would think any hairspray would work. Um, for it's this. just going to stiffen it up for this. Yeah. Um, I have a terracotta pot with a dowel rod with a Christmas globe from Dollar Tree. Really... You could use a foam ball in place of that, but I just didn't have Welcome, a foam Annette. ball. Welcome, Annette. I didn't have a foam ball. Okay. If so you, and that, if you like, welcome to our page. If you like what you see, click the little follow button and, you, no. and uh, text hello to 810-374-0342 to know when we're going live. You make, you could make one of these and use it as a mold and just make multiple of these. And look, it literally just stands on its own. How cute. How cute. You'd have to probably use lots of starch or hairspray to keep it its stiffness, but it's pretty stiff. Gosh, what do I want to do, guys? Do I go ahead and mount it to this, or do I just stiffen it some more and leave it on its own? I think it's kind of cute. I, I think you stiffen it some more and just leave it on its own. Hearts if you think I should attach it to the mold. Thumbs up if you think I should leave it as is. I'll let you all decide. I thought I was going to... And then you could recreate this and make multiple. Take it to the, take it to the craft fairs and sell them. Ah! How cute. How cute. Okay. Hearts for the mold, thumbs up for not the mold. And I'm seeing lots of thumbs. All right, we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to yeah, put lots the, of, lots of thumbs. All right, I'm going to put it back on the mold just to stiffen it up a little bit more. And we got to get up some eyeballs still. I'll leave it on the mold while I give it the eyeballs too, just to um, make sure. And you guys, this is like cheap hairspray, cheap hairspray. Get the cheap stuff, get the cheap stuff. Okay, the stuff that makes your hair like frozen solid. I'm not using googly eyes, but thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Oh, Phyllis says leave it on its own. Put lights under it. Ooh, lights. Lights might weigh it down a little bit, so you got to make sure it's good and stiff if you're going to do lights. Okay, so just keep that in mind. We're going to spin her. We're going to spin her. Ooh, you can smell the hairspray. It smells like 1985. <laughs> no, no. Oh, you want to no, know what? That smells like 1986. You want to know what else happened when we were at the? Um, did we tell this the other day when we were at the C.J. Barrymore's? Somebody couldn't keep track of their stuff. Somebody lost something very important. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. He's like, "What? Who lost something?" I guess he'd rather forget what he lost. While we were at CJ Barrymore's. Who lost their glasses? Oh, yeah. 
In the oh, okay. laser tag. In laser tag. Yep. Yeah. I think we told y'all. I think we mentioned this. I don't know if we told the whole story, but I think we mentioned it the other day. Um, yeah, Tim, we come out of laser tag, and Tim's like, my glasses. I don't have my glasses. So we're like, we lost a pair of glasses in there, and they immediately like shut. This is just steam. If you see this, it's just it's just a little steam coming up because it's hairspray and it's wet, and we're heating it, so it's creating a steam. Ooh, don't attach steam. the lights. Just circle them underneath the egg. Oh yes, cool. a little tap light underneath, even like that glows up, would be super cute too. Super cute. Um, it's getting good and stiff. I love it. So, um, yeah, they actually shut down the whole laser tag for Tim. Like, there turn was, like, a line of people waiting, too. And they oh, yeah. let us go in, and we're walking around. We're looking. They turned all the lights on inside there. We're looking, and we're searching for his glasses. And um, we're like, well, we can't find them. Let's go out and see if they're outside, maybe. Maybe they fell off. Let's check that area again. And another person who worked there had found a pair of glasses and put them on the counter so he found them yeah. but um but yeah tim lost his glasses i lost my glasses okay i think i can good. still i i can kind of see without them it just you know makes it easier all right i'm trying to just see which side i like seeing which which side oh and you could put a string and hang it too you could put a little string through and hang it yes okay i think i'm thinking this part right here I'm thinking that might be. So what, let me do the whole 360. Find the side we like the most. That's not so bad. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Put the ghost over a battery operated candle. Mm, so it flickers. Okay, I yeah, think I think we're gonna go too. with, like right here. I think we're gonna go with this is gonna be the front. That's the front, that's the front. So what I'm gonna do is I have the burlap that I had cut. No, my, my old glasses, uh, Andrea. My scrap burlap. Yeah, we see you, Janice. I'm gonna cut some ovals. Oh, did out I of see your comment? Probably not. Before I do that, I'm going to make the eyes brown so that they pop, so that they stick out. So I'm gonna get some antique wax, and we're gonna we're gonna paint our burlap. If you guys like this, make sure you. you said um, it was supposed to be a ghost. How come you didn't use a white cloth? It's a farmhouse ghost. Farmhouse ghost. I don't have white burlap. You could use white cloth. You can. You want to use burlap is is thick and stiff. Okay, so that's why it works well. You would have to use a lot of starch if you're going to use like a cotton or something like that. So you want to use something that's nice and stiff like this. You can buy white burlap. You can, um, or like was, a creamy white burlap. This is what I had. I'm working with what I got. It was but my totally, old glasses. Totally recreate this and use. Um, white burlap if you have some or if you can get your hands on some. It was my old glasses that I was wearing because I think I'm taking my new yeah, glasses they, back. Yeah, they weren't his new ones. He's not adjusting well to his no. high vocals. No. His transitions. No. Which are modern day high vocals. Yeah. Without the line. The progressive. Yeah, pro whatever they're pro called. Progressive lenses. Um, you could probably use a drop cloth because that's thicker. Oh, cheese cloth. Cheese cloth, cheese you could probably thin. would get stiff. Um, you might need to do a couple layers because it's thinner. So you have to like experiment. Um, take a scrap piece and and spray it with starch or hairspray and see how it stiffens up and see if you think yep. it'll work. Yeah, guys, I. If you if you hold on, if you are going to um, keep it on the mold, you could probably use. Woo! Don't burn your burlap. Woo! Um, guys, you should see the amount of smoke coming off of that. Yeah, a lot came off of that just now. I got way too close. If you're going to keep it on your mold, you could probably use darn near any fabric you want. But if you want it to stand on its own, you want to use a nice stiff um, fabric. I know a lot of y'all do not like the bifocals. Yes, yeah, you know, the progressive, I, I, I wore them for a solid week. So now I'm going to fold it in to half. To try and get used to them, and I just, I can't do it. They, they gave me some um, exercises to do. And I was doing them to try and get my eyes adjusted to to, to learn them. I can't do it. I, so I just deal with it. I'll just go back to my, my, my singular, single lens. Okay. So. so I am using, I'm just cutting some ovals. And I'm cutting them probably a little bit bigger than they need to be, potentially, because I can always cut them a little bit smaller if I decide to. So let me bring this over here. 
bring our little ghost back in here. Yeah, from what I hear, with the, with the progressive lenses, either you love them or you hate them. Cute. I think those are like perfect size. What do you guys think? Do you think they're good size? Do you think they're too big? Hearts if you think they're good size. Thumbs up if you think they're too big. <laughs> How cute is he? Oh my gosh. I think they're good. I think they're good. What do you think, Tim? Do you think they're too big? I don't... I think... I'm seeing lots of hearts. Yeah. Some thumbs. But I think there were more hearts. All right, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with that. I'm gonna turn him a little bit. We'll take him off his um, stand here in a minute. I just wanna leave him on there while I put the eyeballs on. Oh my gosh, y'all. So stinking cute. I'm using my low temp glue gun. Cause, because um, they're just a small chunk of glue there. Um, we get to use my little finger protector stick yep i know tim's telling me we got we got we got to wrap this up we got to wrap this up i know we got we got somewhere to be today um yep. by a certain time so yep we're almost done we just got to give her her eyes and then she's done oh my and she's ready to go guys, definitely sprinkle this video because i think some others could be inspired by this cuteness all right yeah, right. people either either love the progressive or they just absolutely hate them. Here we go, y'all. Let me close this. Let me close this. Oh my gosh. I know Pamela, isn't it cute? I love it. All right, here we go. There's nothing under it. It's a true ghost. Look at that. Ooh. How cute. How cute. Give you guys a little more up close. How horrible is that you could even do like a several of these like a, along like the center of a table or something oh, yeah. you could do little versions of this so stinking cute and now i've got the frame i can do like others with it and reuse this how fun how fun how fun i love it gail says to try one more week tim with your glasses isn't it a fun little farmhouse ghost? Now you could recreate this with white burlap, which we and you could even distress it and look farmhousey with the white burlap. Brown burlap is what I had, so that's what I used. Um, this is all stuff that I already had. I'm trying to use up what I have in my craft room right now and not get a whole bunch of new stuff um, because I don't want to move all this to the new space. So I'm trying to use it all up here um, first. So, but there's our little ghost. There's our little ghost. Doo -doo -doo. But that would be cute to put lights under it too. I love that idea. So if you guys recreate this, post it over in the Christie's Craft Room Craft Sharing Group and tag us in it, okay? Either hashtag Christie's Craft Room or you can just do a little at symbol Christie's Craft Room and um, we'll see it. Or hashtag Christie Inspired, I think we used to say all the time. But I'm finding if you tag Christie's Craft Room, it's easier for me to get to it to see it. I'm, I'm discovering. So if you do the at symbol and then Christie's Craft Room, our little window will pop open that says Christie's Craft Room. You click on that. There's a one button I have to click and it shows me every post that has us tagged in it. So um, I just discovered that. See, I'm still learning, y'all. I'm still learning this whole Facebook <laughs> world. I am. Um, so if you tag Christie's Craft Room in it, I'll more likely see it if you recreate this, okay? Give him a mouth. You could give him a mouth. To give him a mouth, then he's going to talk. Mouth, but then he's going to talk. I don't usually give my mouth, my, 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 my. My ghost mouths. I don't. I don't know why I don't. I just give them eyeballs because keep them quiet because that won't scare me. Um, we, we will craft. We're still going to have this space here, but the bulk of it will be at the new space once we get everything moved there. We'll be, because we spend a lot of time there. Like today, we had to leave there to come here to craft. Um, where if we had everything there, we could have just, well, like, we were already were there. We could have just again, crafted we there. We don't have space so, in the studio right now. Well, right now, the craft studio that's going to be the craft studio is filled with um, live crafting retreat stuff right now. So that is a good point Tim has. Yes, yes. Thank you guys for hanging out. We're going to hop off of here. We have some errands to run. Thank you guys. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle, spread the love, inspire to your friends, and um, we will see you guys Hi, How did they say boo without a mouth? Not this one. They ain't scaring me because I'm a big scaredy cat. This All right, guys. But boo. if you recreate this, go ahead and add a mouth if you want to. Um, you could do it the exact same way. Just cut a little um, oval or circle with your stained burlap. I'm eating burlap. 
All right, guys. Love you. I will see you later. Have a great rest of your day. See you guys.